Hey guys, I'm Beef, and welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, I'm going to be working on war bikes, and I've got a lot of cleaning to do with them because they're all eBay purchases. Um, that's a good thing, but it's also a bad thing. It's good that I've saved the money. It's bad that now I've lost a lot of time scraping and cleaning and trying to fix the mistakes and fill gaps and do the best I can with the models in the condition they are and just try and get them tabletop ready because I want to learn how to play like as soon as possible and I want to do it in my local store and I need a thousand points worth of army in order to do that so I need to build up all these war bikes, so I've got 18 of these to do. Then I'll have a further nine knobs on war bikes to do. And then I've got to do two war bosses on war bike. And that is about a thousand points. And I think I can chuck a squad of Gretchen in with that. I think. But anyway, I digress. Lots of cleaning, lots of cutting, lots of scraping, and a lot of gluing. Now, I didn't want to take the miller put out because. There was a lot of bits and I'm messy with it, like really messy with it. I get it all over my hands and then I touch everything and I'm just making a mess all over my computer and my mouse and my keyboard and everything. So I didn't really want to do that. So I chose not to. So I enjoyed all the scraping and all the cutting and everything like that. And after a few days of this, it got to me again. So I decided to have a little bit of a change of pace. I decided to work on the bases and I got myself some of that corkboard stuff off of Amazon. And honestly, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty, pretty good. And I figured I could use it as a road surface. So I took a couple of them into my local shop on the Wednesday, because I like to go into when, in on Wednesdays for the workshop which is very very nice you can bring in whatever you want to work on and work on it there which is absolutely fantastic so i did that and i made some test ones and i did some with like road stripes on it but i wasn't a huge fan of that so i'm not sure whether they are going to be in the final product but yeah after i've done that i was very very happy with it obviously it's just Spray it black, paint it black, do whatever you want to do, and then a nice dry brushing of my absolute favorite color, your Shabti Bone. And with that in mind, I was refreshed and ready to start on the third bag of bikes. Now, the problem with the third bag of bikes was it was the worst of the lot. I decided to leave the worst till last for some reason. I probably should have started with these and then it wouldn't have been such a slug to get through it. But after a couple of days, I finally managed to do it. And there we go. All of them together, finally. A, uh, an absolute mix match of everything and anything. But they're together. Next job is to clean off this paint. Um, yeah. Yeah. I've gone for the banners instead of the, the grot hanging off. I'm not really, not really into that one, but yeah. Lots of cleany beanie time, I think. Wish me luck. Okay, quick record time. I've turned my fan off. It's a million degrees here where I am at the moment. It's very, very warm, but it's the day after i've washed some of them these guys I haven't bothered with because the the paint's not too thick um primer will cover it it'll be fine then the ones that i did do uh just need to sort them back out into their groups and yes they have actually come out quite well i mean this one was the big thick one that was covered in the red and then this one um yeah, that one was the heavily metals one, but that's also come out not too bad. Uh, this is just Dettel, like I say, 
haven't washed them too well. I couldn't quite get in on that side, so I'm hoping that that's not going to be an issue. But it is what it is. Not the end of the world. Disappointing, but fine. Then we've got you that one. We'll go and I only have two boss poles. Where's my other boss pole? Huh. Oh well, I've got I've got more. I've got more. If you're okay, then you you and that one, that guy, the rider, rider and bike. There we go. You are that knob, and you are that one. Okay, cool. Right, yeah, boring organization. Hey ho. I also have this guy. Um, he's been in the freezer. At the moment, yes. So he is what I'm calling a bossicle. Um, yeah, that is still very wobbly. I don't know if the be, but it is. So I have been informed about resin and super glue, as we can tell here on the side of his face. He's had a little glue accident. And it's sealed in paint. I can't get rid of it. Only with a knife. Uh, I don't trust myself to quite do that whilst it's all as one. Maybe as a single piece? Yes, but all as one? No. So what I'm hoping to do is freeze it, thaw it, freeze it, thaw it, freeze it, thaw it, rinse and repeat. And supposedly over time that will break the super glue and do no damage to the resin. The other quicker, faster option is to chuck it into 80 degree water. Now, we all know how these react to a hairdryer, so I don't really like the sound of that. Or the other option is chuck it in the oven at 80 degrees. So, not doing that either. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's my choices for them. So. All in all, he hasn't come out too bad. He's, he's still a bit dirty, like where the washers have sat and stuff like that. Some of the primer is still a bit gunky. So I could really do with him being apart. But I think he's going to be for the future now. So he will be chilling, literally, thawing, chilling, thawing for a long time. And we'll myth bust that and see whether or not it actually works. But anyway, I think we are. Just about ready for priming these guys up. So I need to get. Oh, what is it? 18. 18 things to stick the guys on and 18 things to stick the bikes on. I don't think I've got enough. Oh no. So I've raided all my old paint pots. <laughs> I found some coveted uh, goblin green here. Um. I might have to restore that at some point for the 90s nostalgia, but hey ho. And some good old bleached bone. <laughs> uh, right. Well, yeah, I've got enough pots, I think, to stick everybody on. I was thinking of using cocktail sticks, but then they're, they're a bit too broad. So I'm going to go for paper clips and yeah. I've got to go now and drill a load of crotches, apart from some of them, which I believe are glued in. I didn't think it was any of these guys, but he should. This one should come out. Oh, oh he's not good. Good, good. All right, so I've got to fiddle around with these, getting them out, because the guns... Ah! Oh! <laughs> I'd switch and snap a gun off. Okay. Uh... I, what what's up with your foot? Why you not come out? Come on. Come on, it's time to get off your bike. Look, I know you're a biker boy, but come on. You've got to drill your crotch. Just like a trip to the doctor, that's all. You've got to do it regardless. Alright. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Let's hope I don't break them all. Anyway, yeah. Wow stick time. 
Oh god, let me tell you, trying to Tetris all this stuff together with these two arms. I've got one for the microphone and one for the light and the camera and everything, and oh, so annoying. But anyway, uh, I've been out and spent a lot of money. <laughs> uh, a bit too much money, but hey-ho, it's fine. Uh, I hit up some charity shops, but I didn't find any sort of Jenga block game things, so I actually bought Jenga. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I've got plenty of blocks now to affix everything to. I'm going to put them flat, like that way, and affix into there for the bikes, and then for everything else, I could probably get away with doing it from top, hopefully. And I'm I'm hoping they stand up well. If not, then I'll just do everyone flat. That's fine. But yeah, I'm going to try this because um, I ain't really got enough paint pots. I ain't really got enough blue tack, and this i'm not bothered if it gets spray all over it whereas some of those vintage pots i'd rather not get paint on them and also as well i bought some gretchen um another squad of them yeah and i also bought another squad of mega knobs so yeah they'll be coming on in the future but for now i've got a lot of uh wow stick to do and camera's completely out of focus. Hello? Down here, please. Nope. Maybe I should actually invest in a camera now. Yeah. Anyway. Drill time. <laughs> With every single project that I do, there always seems to be one big enemy. And today, the enemy of this project is my airbrush. As we can see here. The first one, perfect, not a problem, good coverage, etc. Fine. Second one, not quite as well. You can see it's a little bit patchy here and here. Yeah. Third one, yeah. You can really see the difference. Fourth one, and fifth one. There's something wrong with it. Um, the airflow was being weird, so I took the nozzle off, realigned it, etc., etc., cleaned it, put it back together, and then the paint wouldn't feed through. So it's gone for a bath. So I'm going to have to manually prime all these bases, and at least then I can actually be doing something because I don't really feel like manually priming every single one of those bikes and riders. So, yeah. This is me for a bit. I think I might have the rest of the day off, honestly, because, yeah, because state's my hands. Oh. Covered. Covered. And I was wearing gloves. <laughs> so with everything all primed up, I decided to use my purple ink thing that I've made up, which is just... Uh, I think it's crimson and blue, or just magenta and blue. Well, I'll say blue. It's cyan, isn't it? Magenta and cyan, or crimson and cyan, together. My homemade concoction. And I wanted to put some on the base to give it a sort of undertone shading of the purple, which I like to do with most of the bases. So I did that. But sadly, for some reason, even though I'd used my mixer and shook it by hand and everything like that and applied the same amount onto each base, one, th one thin line, some of them come out a touch more purple than the others. So I decided to dry brush them black. And then it was time for my favorite color, a nice dry brushing of Yushabti Bone. Um, a little bit heavier around the edges and just a nice light touch across the top. Um, going in straight lines. Yeah, the first one I went circles. It didn't look right. So if you want to do this yourself, do it in straight lines. It looks much more like a road. Um, it looks a bit weird and mix matched if you don't do straight lines. So yeah, bear that in mind. And with that dry brushing done, it's time to darken it down again 
to kind of take a bit of that edge off it come out a lot brighter than i was expecting it didn't really look like a road surface i i wanted it highlighted with the bone color but i didn't want it to be that bright so it was null oil time yes a lot of null oil everywhere all over me all over my mat all over my desk and no i didn't knock the pot over for a change i was just a very messy worker and with all that the bases were finally done and i was happy with them but obviously i wasn't happy with the airbrush situation it's really slowed me down but hey how at least i got a small win out of it well my airbrush is out of commission until further notice by the looks of things which is annoying but hey ho um so yeah with these bases done now i think i'm gonna have to put them all to one side and move on to something else because yeah put put some patches on it like that where it drips not bothered there we go add a bit more variance to it i mean it's gonna have a bike on top of it so it's fine but I think I'm going to move on to working on Golden Goblin. Yeah, I think so. I think I need to change the pace until that thing starts working again. And yeah, try and get some of this null oil off my fingers. Because soap doesn't seem to shift it. So I think in future I will have to uh, have to get gloves. Because yeah, that's a bit much. <laughs> So the Golden Goblin, um, it's dual is the theme. So I got myself some of these, which I showed before, uh, some Gretchen with a runt head, and it's going to be him and this figure here, I believe. And I'm going to have them doing rock, paper, scissors over a sack of multicolored teeth to represent like sweets or whatever for Halloween but I'm not sure what sort of backdrop or surrounding I want to put them in so I've got those ready and then I also have a extra little little hand from a grot there I think that's one from the mech gun maybe yeah then I've got a big hand and another hand that I need to manipulate them both round uh, i need to bend this twist it sort of thing so it goes on his shoulder but i was thinking of uh oh, not dropping it uh thinking of doing like that you know a fist into the hand like that like they're going one two three like what people do yeah maybe something like that and then the same thing with that one being the grot's hand and using maybe this try and bend the elbow hopefully that should work and which other oh yeah the gun arm here but chop it at the wrist right right on the wrist there and then swap the hands over and put it on uh, rotated so it can have it out in front hopefully but this one will need bending on the elbow so yeah i'm not quite sure whether or not i'm going to be able to get away with that but if i lose those two bits making this um diorama thing diorama however you pronounce it once pronounce it whatever then i've still got this pair of arms with the stick bomb but i'm not really one of that really little little grok gun but yeah yeah i think i'm gonna have to have a play around see whether or not it will work but backdrop and whatnot so i'm gonna have some time off cool down try and de-stress from the airbrush marigma roll and yeah i think that might be it for this video so we'll call this bikes part one short and sweet yeah not really a lot achieved not very happy with the whole situation but i do have some very very good news and that is i am finally getting rid of this this horrible camera yeah 
I thought it was decent, it was recommended, blah blah blah. No, it's pants, absolute pants. So I'm getting rid of that, and I'm also getting two studio boom arms, some of them road ones, them what are the P PSA one things, expensive things, so they're quiet, so I can actually move things around whilst recording without having to worry. And also, there may be more gaming content coming onto the channel very, very soon because I am itching to play Zomboid again. I really want to uh, have a more relaxed version of the Hydrocraft. So if you're here for that as well, keep your eyes peeled. Hopefully we'll have something along the lines of that very shortly. But anyway, thank you very much again for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed it. Sorry there hasn't been much painting, just a little bit of face work. But yeah, airbrushes be airbrushes, yeah. Anyway, take care of yourselves. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.